envelops the world with darkness, vast and black. But night is turned into day, for the Lord Shiva is to wed Parvati, perfect in her loveliness. The streets are ankle deep in flowers, the windows are filled with faces, the gods are here, the people too. <laughs> Centuries have passed, but each year, at the appointed hour, the immortal lovers are joined in holy matrimony. Shiva and Parvati, Sundareshwar and Meenakshi are with us again, in a city that is dedicated to them, ancient Madurai. <laughs> Kings and queens of the Nayak dynasty ruled Madurai from the 16th to the 18th century, during the most creative period of her 2,500-year-old history. The greatest of them was Thirumal Nayak. This was his palace, designed almost as if to remind us of the monarch who held court here. The pillars are six feet wide and forty feet high, powerful fingers holding aloft the graceful roofed arcade. The cloisters lie behind. The visitor treads softly as if still in awe of the king who lived beyond. surrounded by beauty. That was the ambition of Thirumal Nayak and his architects. And for their reigning deity, the goddess Meenakshi, they built the Mariamman Tepakolam, one of the largest tanks in South India, paved with stone. <laughs> To her, over the centuries, merchant and king, peasant and worker, raised a temple whose massive gopurams are the city's soul, her skyline of effort and achievement. <laughs> Countless are the figures covering the Gopurams, the sacred structures on which the Nayak artists poured their love and devotion. Not content with sculpting, they also gave voice to stone. The Minakshi temple draws all who journey to Madurai. Here at the Ashta Lakshmi Mandapam, the goddess Lakshmi bestows her blessings of good fortune and abundance. <laughs> with its pillared cloisters is reached.
and on the frescoed walls the miracles of Lord Shiva, as told in the famous Tamil epic Tiruvalayadal Puranam, are once again enacted. The western cloister leads to what is probably the most beautiful hall in the whole temple, the Kilikattu Mandapam, named after the parrot, a bird made sacred by the love of the goddess Minakshi. Here, hewn out of solid granite, are pillared portraits, the five Pandava brothers, Yudhishthira, Arjuna, Bhima, Nakula, Sahadeva and their wife Draupadi. The devotee can now enter the inner precincts, guarded by two Dwarapalakas or gatekeepers. There resides Meenakshi. Nearby lies the unfinished Raya Goparam. Had Tirumal Nayak completed the building of this structure, it would have been the largest in South India. From here, the Pudumandapam can be seen, a spacious hall graced by life-size figures